Hello and welcome to World 5 of Super Cyboy Koopa World. Well, it looks like we're in a desert world for World 5. If you haven't seen any of the first four worlds, there will be a link in the top right corner. But this world is made up of all different styles. Um, the levels have gotten a lot harder in these last two worlds. I think World 4 took me about two hours to beat altogether. There were just a, a couple of really, really hard levels there. At least hard for me to sort of... Whoops. <laughs> to wrap my head around. So, for anybody that isn't a part of uh, my Discord or that um, doesn't follow my Instagram at all, I finally got a Switch Pro Controller. So I'm hoping that maybe that'll make some kind of difference here in terms of how I play the game. Don't have to deal with like drift or anything anymore, which will be nice. But yeah, I'm really excited. It, it was really about time that I got a pro controller, so... Wait, am I supposed to spin jump off of his head? Oh god. Well, couldn't quite make it. Um, but yeah, so I had a bunch of Dreamcast games that I traded in at my local game store. There's gotta be like a mushroom or something in there, right? <laughs> Anyways, I traded in some Dreamcast games, like 10 altogether, and I got... Oh, it was like just around $350 in trade credit, which is very nice. There we go. There's my mushroom. Um, so yeah, I splurged on getting a Pro Controller. I couldn't decide if I wanted to get like just the regular one or if I wanted a Special Edition one, um, but they showed me the Special Edition ones that they had. And I wasn't too excited about any of them. Like, they had a Splatoon one. I'm not big on, into Splatoon. They had a Zelda, like a Tears of the Kingdom one, which was pretty nice. Um, but it was like $40 more or something. Then they also had a Monster Hunter one. What? Oh my god, what do I have to do to make you go to the right? Oh, jeez. I should really pay attention to the names of these levels. I didn't realize that this one was called Release the Chain Chomps. So, <laughs> I mean, thankfully I finally noticed and I, well, I released the Chain Chomp. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I was saying. So, I don't really have any, like, special feelings or anything towards any of those pro controller games. Like, I'm not into Splatoon. There's a Monster Hunter one, I'm not really into that. There was a Tears of the Kingdom one, which was the one that I would consider, but... Yeah, I just kind of decided against it. Well, this is unfortunate. Nope, it's not! He made the barrier the second time. There we go. Oh, and we hit a checkpoint. That's good. So, also with all the games that I traded in, so I got like about $350 in trade credit. I also ended up getting a... Um... Oh god, I'm too focused on his swinging. I got a limited edition Cuphead game that came with a, with a Miss Chalice figure. Well, there's nothing there. Well, and I wasted that too. Ah, nuts. <laughs> I totally saw that coming too. Um, yeah, it came with, oops, it came with a Miss Chalice figure, which was pretty cool. It's not very big, but I'm happy to have a physical version of the game at least. And not only that, but the game also came with DLC. So if you were interested in watching my playthrough of Cuphead, well, now I have the DLC as well. So be sure to watch out for that. Maybe even this summer sometime. Who knows?
Everything about this just feels very treacherous. <laughs> oh. I still have $160 worth of trade credit from the store, and I like I don't know what what to get with it. Ah. I was hoping I could finesse that somehow, but it didn't quite work out. Oh god, what's going to come out of here? There we go. I was kind of thinking about maybe investing in some more... God, how many, how many of them are there? Jesus Christ! So, how come those chain chumps aren't loaded in over there right now? Or do they load in once I ground pound these? Maybe, maybe it's a, like an entity limit thing? I don't know. Nope. They loaded in afterwards. Oh god, how are you supposed to outrun that? That's so much easier when you have a mushroom. God, why is it so hard for me to get into the pipe all the time? Ooh, Delali. Alright, let's keep going here. God, go away all you chain chomps. Jeez. I grow tired of all of you and your chaining and your chomping. Ah, I overshot it. Oh god. Well, what do you know? I missed another pink coin somewhere, as usual. Ah, screw it. Let's just go to the end. I'm gonna get a game over anyways. Oh man, this level was... It's not too bad, but god, I hate chain chomps so much. I hate spin jumping on them. Oh, but we made it through. We've lived we've lived to tell the tale. We've lived to see another day. Oh boy, now we've got Hammer Bros. What's this going to be? Dry, dry deserted desert. No, I need another shell. Thank you. Wait. There we go. Now I should be able to pass through. Right? Is that what I'm doing? Um. Totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. No! I just wanted to fall back into the shell. Why was I holding grab? I just, I subconsciously hold, like, the, I guess, the boost or the turbo or whatever you want to call it. Why? The Y button. I just subconsciously hold it all the time, so... Yeah, that's why a lot of times I'll make a stupid mistake like that. Wait, don't these shells kill piranhas? They do indeed. I was trying to boost up there. Didn't quite work out. Probably lost the pink coin for that, but oh well. What can you do? Oh my god, I did it again. Oh, there we go. I didn't even need to boost off of the piranha plant to get that. I want to see if I can trap the hammer bro in there. Oh, jeez. 
No! We can do this. Just gotta time it. We just gotta time it. Oh my god, I did it again! Come on, get back there! There we go. He's been eliminated. Problem solved. Oh god, I wasn't sure what was gonna be down here. Ooh, checkpoint. Anything hidden up here? Ah, another pink coin. Sneaky, sneaky. Can you imagine if, like, that's just where I've been missing all of the pink coins this whole time? That'd really suck. But I wouldn't put it past myself. God, am I going to make it through? Oh, thank goodness. Ah, hammer bro. At least I got rid of them. Oh, hey, there's question blocks up here too. Well, I don't need a mushroom. Is that going to be a coin up here? Eh, I'll take it. Nope. <laughs> that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. I miss another pink coin. What the heck, man? Oh, well, we made it through. That last part was, for whatever reason, it was very difficult for me to balance myself on the skull coaster. But once I actually made it on there, it really wasn't that bad. I think I was just, as usual, just overthinking everything. Not a bad level overall. I'm just... For me personally, I've never been a big fan of Desert World, so I'm not as into this one as, say, like the Ice World in World 3, but still these levels are pretty good overall. Tree Hokey Pokey, level 3. Okay, well, I can get the idea of this level so far. Looks like there are trees. There are pokies. I haven't seen any hokies yet, but you know, maybe maybe they're still coming. Let's see what's down here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't, don't even ask me what I was thinking there. There we go. Got our fire flower, we got our key. Now can we collect the pink coin? And jump, land in the box. And checkpoint. Ooh, what's down this pipe here? Pain. There we go. This looks... excruciating. <laughs> Ow. Ok, 
Okay. God, these freaking bloopers, man. Just leave. No! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, didn't quite work out. Let's fish out that blooper. See if we can bait him to go somewhere. Somewhere else. Okay, okay. Nice. God, where is this going to take me? Where are you taking me? Unhand me. Ooh, checkpoint. Perfect. We're making quite a bit of good progress here. I should have known that there'd be a, a power up in there. I would have saved it. Ah, nuts. I feel like I need to wall jump off of that to the the bullet. I'm, or no, to the tree, sorry. We're going to do the bullet after. This is a really neat level, I gotta say. I'm really digging it. No! I wanted to jump off of it to get to that tree. Oh. Now I'm scared. Just because of the timing of these. Ooh, now what are we doing? Oh, do we need to jump back the other way? But how do you time that? I feel like by the time the first one gets here, the second one disappears. Unless I go like on the end of its cycle, like now. Nope, that's too early. Okay. So I just need to grab this key here. Oof. I honestly thought I wasn't going to make it. Okay, well, there's a pink coin. I don't think there's a way for me to really get it without a power up unless <laughs> I'm willing to sort of sacrifice myself, fall down below. But even then, I don't think I can make it back up because I don't have a key to go into that warp uh, box anymore. Though there is a warp box right here. Where did that one come from? Just kind of hoping there'd be something up here. Ooh, that was pretty nifty. Alright, this time I should be able to reach the top of the flag. There we go. I mean, once again, we didn't get all the pink coins, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I've sort of made peace with the fact that I'm not going to see very many bonus areas in the super world. This was a really fun level. I really liked it. Probably the best level of this World 5 so far, in my opinion. Alright, two levels to go. Let's see what we have coming up next. The Sorrowful Sandstorm. Oh, is this going to blow me around? No. No. Oh, God. <sighs> this is like one of my least favorite Mario Maker mechanics is the blowing sandstorm wind. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Oh, thank god I made that one. Didn't think I would. There... There is no way I would make that jump. Wait, how am I going to make this jump? Oh, jeez. Wow, that wind really makes a difference. Oh, God, I hate these sandstorms so much. Okay, at least I got that coin this time. Hyo! 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 Ow! Hyo! Ow! Oh god, I almost walked right into that. Yes, thank you, power up, thank you. Uh, let's wait for a neutral wind here. Get out of here, Monty Mole. Boost away! Oh. Yes, checkpoint. Oh, thank the Lord. Ow. Ow. Just please get up there. Thank you. I don't think I can get that coin at all. Let's just die and start again. How did I manage to steal that? Wow, I can just run through that? I didn't know that. that. You learn something new every day. Why is there a mole right there? Ah, nuts. No! Oh, screw it. Just keep going. Just keep going. So I can just sprint through these twisters? Is that the idea? Oh my god, I can. Oh, thank god, get me through the pipe. And I actually collected all the pink coins for once. Holy man, this is a Christmas freaking miracle here. Oh. There's no, like, rising poison in this one, is there, Cyboy Koopa? Come on, hit hit the hit the block, hit the block, hit the block. Oh man, I'll take it. Wait, hold on. We need to put a comment on this momentous occasion. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Let's just make it to the end of this. Can we, can we get a nice little speed boost so that we can get an extra life here? Oh my god, and I just missed it. Oh well. This wasn't a bad level, but um, I just, I hate the, the uh, sandstorm mechanic. It drives me nuts, but I really like how you could use it to boost, like to make jumps that you normally wouldn't be able to make. So that was kind of neat. All right, just the the castle, the boss battle to go. Iggy's bony brawl. Better than a bony broth, am I right? 
Well, there's an arrow pointing up here. Which you can barely make out. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening. Is there something up here? Oh, <laughs> uh, fair enough. I don't know what was up there, but... Oh god. Definitely was not expecting that. Ow. Come on, pop up, Iggy. Can you get down here? Seriously, are you like doing the boot scoot and boogie? There we go. Not a bad first part. I bet you if I still had my propeller helmet, I could do something up there. But alas, tis not possible. This is going to be interesting. Ooh, I should have gone right there. Oh, hey, the pink coin. At least this one is accessible no matter what. Not like in, uh, what was it, World 3? There was the Morton boss battle level when you needed to carry your power up through the first stage. And then if you don't have it, you're basically out of luck. Okay, you got two so far. Oh, shoot. Holy jeez, that was intense. That took me about almost an hour and a half of playing off and on. And it wasn't even... Like, I mean, okay, it was definitely difficult, but... It was just little stupid mistakes that I kept making that was really frustrating. But anyways, let me know what you thought of World 5. I thought it was very well done overall. Minus the little quabbles that I had with the sandstorm level, and I guess the chain chomp level, but the other ones were really cool. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. We're going to check out World 6 next time, but until then, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.